what's going on guys welcome back today we are doing takeover which is the newest machine in try hack me takeover is about subdomain enumeration so beforehand we know what we are going to do from the start so basically the description here you can read the description but it's not relevant to the technicality of the steps that we're going to take to solve this challenge but it's important to note that this is the domain name or the url and this is the IP address. You need to add the IP address to the host's file. So we know what to do. Let's start the subdomain enumeration on this host. So I'm going to log into my virtual machine. Okay then. So to enumerate subdomains, I have done multiple videos in the past. You can visit them. I'm going also to put uh, them in the video description. Uh, and the process is similar. So basically, we have multiple tools by which we can conduct um, uh, subdomain enumeration. So basically, we have DNS Recon, Sublister, FFUF. For this challenge, we're going to use FFUF, okay? Since you have the possibility of adding a word list and also to exclude certain uh, sizes from the response. Don't forget that you can also do the uh, subdomain enumeration with Google Docs, but we know that the current domain, the current given domain is not listed on Google. So we cannot use Google Docs. There is no way to, there is no point of using Google Docs for this. Okay then. So what do we do now? We start the process with FFUF. First with FFUF, we have to specify a word list. So for the word list, we're going to use the sec list. See what do we have here? So for the sec list, we're going to use discovery and then we have infrastructure mainframe for subdomain enumeration we're going to use dns and let's see here so we have multiple word lists for subdomains subdomains top million top yeah we have these million top millions and we have bitquark subdomains top hundred thousand let's use bitquark Okay, now the next step is we identify or we specify the host dash H. Going to copy that. And here we're going to type the domain name future vera.thm. And after that, we're going to specify the URL. Don't forget to include the double quotes, the closing double quotes dash U. Hey https future vera thm let's see now as you can see we have multiple responses we have to go to exclude certain size from the uh, output specifically size 4605 lines 92 so let's do that as you can see we have to use the option dash fs now dash effects is a very neat option guys that we can use to clean the output and to be able to focus more on more meaningful uh, things like the um, how do I call it the actual results that we are looking for right okay so let's use fs now so the size we're going to execute here is dash fs let's see here 4605 Seems like it doesn't work. Let's go back to the response. How about we try with the IP address here instead? So this is the IP address of the machine. Paste. Okay, now we got some responses as you can see. We have support and we have blog. And they are both, as you can see, uh, with size that's different than 4605 which we are filtering okay so if we try visiting now the support and block and keep this running we might get something out of it so here we try with blog 
and of course we're going to add this to the host file that's why we cannot access this so going back here sudo nano etc hosts i'm going to put the same entry 10 10 160 161 log dot future vera thm the same likewise for the other subdomain support future vera i know i can copy paste this but i'm too lazy to do that so let's go back and reload this page accept the warning so this is the blog and let's try to visit the support page accept the warning self-signed certificates are always like that okay so we're supposed to find this flag if we got only two subdomains this flag could be lurking around the page source but it is not but i'm just showing you guys one of the methods it could be here but it is not here in this case let's look at the page source for this subdomain nothing in here so if there is nothing on the page source where could be the um sub uh, the flag let's look at the ssl certificate more information view certificate and we got the certificate information don't forget guys the certificate information or the certificate used for the secure connection contains a lot of the information about the domain and where it got the certificate authority so some useful information might be actually uh, used in a handy manner when you find them inside the certificate so note, take a look at this dns name secret help disk support future where the thm if we take that and try to access it so let's try that the server is not reachable so do you think we have to add this to the uh, um, um, host file let's see so here then then 60, 161 Is it gonna work? Accept So we are here at the landing page again View page source If we remove, if we take a look again at the certificate, let's see. All right, go back. What if this site has a version or another non HTTPS version? If we try to access the site, as you can see, we get this error, but inside the error we have the flag in the description so we take the flag and we submit it so that's it guys very simple easy but it requires a bit of um looking like around the uh between the lines right so you have to we did we had to replace the https with http to be able to find the flag right if we could we didn't do that we just end up here interesting okay guys thank you for watching